guys, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I'm coming from you somewhere different, which is my bathroom. I'm basically in here because I've already filmed this video twice and now it's dark and this is the best lighting. So I hope you don't mind. So today I just wanted to talk to you about my hair. I have a sort of a three year hair story, I guess, but I will condense it down and I just wanted to share with you like tips and tricks and stuff that can help you to get your hair to grow or tips that I have found that have helped me grow my hair. So basically to cut the story short, three years ago, basically to the day, I had my hair cut to about there. This was not intentional, but a month before that I had gone and got my hair cut in a place in my hometown and I had asked for a little bit of thinning. So basically my hair is thick, it's dry, and I just wanted a little bit of weight taken out. So I went to the hairdresser and I came out with a nasty surprise in terms that she had used those thinning scissors and basically taken a heap of volume from basically there down and my hair just looked scraggly at the back, it went like that so it started short at the front and had like one long piece at the back and I was super upset and angry and I hated it, it looked like bad extensions. So then when I went back to university I went and got a haircut at a place I liked there and she basically told me that I'd have to take it up to about there to get it to look healthy she informed me that the best way to grow my hair back would be to keep it at one length, um, no layers, and just blunt cut, and it will grow all at the same length and a lot healthier than if you were to have layers. So basically up until December last year, I didn't have layers at all, and it did allow my hair to grow from there to there within like three years, which was awesome. Um, some tips I have for growing your hair. First of all, let's be honest, it's pretty much a lot to do with genetics, how fast your hair grows or how slow your hair grows. Um, but you definitely can assist um, the process. Two things I definitely recommend is a hair oil. So I really love the Morocco oil. I think it's amazing. And I use this on my hair when it's wet and when it's dry. I take quite a few pumps. It's taken me from basically November till now and I'm down to there. So I definitely use it a lot. Um, another really good thing is a tangle teaser. This is perfect for when you get out of the shower or even when you're dry brushing your hair. It doesn't make it frizzy and it's also super gentle on your hair when it is wet, which is perfect and small. You can take it in your bag. Um, another thing I like to do is I'm semi-high maintenance when it comes to my hair in terms of nourishment, not really in the terms of styling. I'll insert some clips of the products I do use now. I've really been liking the Weller SP range. I use the ColorSave range and I absolutely love it. So those are the two products I use. I also use the mask, but I've currently finished that, so I'm trying a new one. I think it's called Fabuloso. You'll be seeing it on the screen now. I really love that trio, and it really works for my hair. Over the past three years, I've basically used a few other products. Um, when I first moved overseas, I used the Devine's range. It was the Alkaline, I think, range, and it was the Color Depositing Red shade. So it just brightened up my color and gave it a new lease of life every time I used it. So that was really good, but it definitely wasn't as strong as the product I'm using now, so I really liked that one. Um, after that, because I kind of got over that, I really fell in love with the Liz Earl hair care range, so I used the shampoo, which I think is the stock standard one that everyone uses, and then I also used the dry to damaged hair conditioner, which was amazing. It worked so well in London because the water was really dry. Um, it's very harsh, it's got a lot of lime, it's not ideal for your hair, so that really worked well. But then when I got back to New Zealand, it just wasn't working the same. So I went and picked up the SP range again, and I've been absolutely loving it. I've already repurchased it for the second time since I've been back. Um, so I think an investment in quality hair products is really, really helpful. In terms of styling, I, um, like I said, I'm really low maintenance. I just can't be bothered, to be honest. I can't be bothered blow drying. I can't be bothered, you know, straightening or curling. Straightening, I'll do more than curling, just because there's so much hair it just takes forever. So on special occasions, I would definitely curl, but apart from that, I really like braids. And if you've seen my um, past videos from my braided hair series, you'll see that I love for braids. I think they're just so easy to do. They keep it off your face. They give you a nice bit of style. At the moment, my hair is completely natural. I washed it this morning and then just left it to air dry. So there's no deception here. Um, so it's kind of just chilling at the moment. and. This would be my lazy hair day, I'd just leave it to you know, do its thing. But in terms of styling, yeah, I do braids. I don't really do a lot of heat. I try to avoid it as much as possible just to avoid damage. Um, for styling, 
I would get my hair cut about once every five months. Recently, I have taken to trimming at the ends myself just because I feel like it's sometimes a lot of money because I like to go to a quality salon to pay just to get the minimal amount off. So of course I went to a salon when I was getting a blunt cut because it is very precise and you really need someone that is good and that has the eye for it to get a straight line. But now that my hair is kind of a bit more natural on the bottom, I just trim it myself using the Kylie Bible video, which I would still recommend extreme caution, but I just take a tiny bit off. So I'm learning as I go and I'm really happy with it, so it's all good. Um, when I go to bed at night, I think one thing that really helps keep your hair under control and keep it nice is um, putting in either a Dutch braid, like a French braid, or using a sort of like a twist. So on the average night, if I don't want the wave from the braid in the morning, I will take a few pumps of the Moroccan oil, I'll run it through my hair, I'll give it a brush, and then I just do a really simple twist. So I just split it into two, and I just twist it around. So I just do it most of the way down, I'll literally secure it with a hair tie and I'll go to bed in the morning. It's a lot more manageable, it's a lot more shiny because of that Morocco oil and it's also having the follicles because they're not, you know, rubbing against the pillow, which is good. Um, so we've done styling, we've done hair products, tips and tricks, um, we've done cutting. Diet is really important, um, having a good diet, I try to be as good as I can because obviously that reflects in your health and your glow and your hair. And what else? Um, in terms of my hair colour, I do colour my hair. Um, my hair is naturally a dark brown and I think, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't get bleached at all when I do colour it. It's basically, the most of the colour gets done on the roots and then the rest of it is just done through like a tint. So it's not as damaging as say like blonde or highlights or something that you're really dramatically changing your hair colour, which I found very helpful. Um, like I said before, Having a blunt cut with no layers is definitely going to make your hair the strongest that it can be. It doesn't have that weakness in the form of layers. I have layers now, so yeah, but my hair's long enough, so it's okay. Um, when you're getting out of the shower, another thing I recommend is that's when you've got to be really careful because your hair is in a very sort of delicate place and is easily damaged if you're pulling in it. So I'll insert some clips now, and this is basically how I brush out my hair when I get out of the shower, just to, just to avoid damage. My hair is naturally quite tangly, so I can't really help that, but I can be really careful. I apply a lot of Morocco when it's wet and when it's dry, just to keep it really tamed. That is another key thing I found that um, if I was having it natural like today, like it's okay, there's nothing really going on there, but I think it's a little bit frizzy. I'll definitely add some oil just to make it manageable and so I don't feel like I have to use a heat tool. I'm really happy with how it is now. It's gotten pretty long. I don't know how much longer I'm going to grow it, but like I said, it is genetics, but then as well, you really have to look after it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found some of my tips and tricks helpful. Um, that's just basically how I got there in three years, from here to there. And yeah, um, if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions, please comment down below. Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. If you want to check out any of my latest videos, just click the video here. Bye!